Hello, hello, my paper peeps. Welcome to another Flip Through Friday. Now, if you're new to my channel, I love to go through the tickle trunk and showcase some of the projects that I did years ago for two reasons. Number one, I'm always looking for inspiration. And sometimes some of the best inspiration comes from past projects that I've created. And number two, I want to show you what I've done and maybe that will spark some of your creativity and give you some ideas for your projects. So here we go. This is a scrapbook that I did years ago. And I'll tell you this now, I did this when my son was probably a year old. And I went on a girl's trip and obviously you can see here by this stone ephemera, it's actually a wine tour that we went on. And from what I see here, I used several things. I used chipboard. This is actually a black gift wrap. And the book itself is an old album that holds, I think, four by six photos. And what I did was I just covered the actual sheets, the plastic sheets with cardstock. And back then, one of the things I loved to do was just go down the aisles of Michael's and pick up a pack of their stickers. And I would look at that and I'd say, okay, you know, I'm going on a wine tour and this, this pack of stickers has gold and purple and I would say okay that is my color theme and then I would pick out a few pieces of cardstock and work with that and back then I was really into Copic markers I loved Copic markers and so I would obviously find a stamp that would uh, pair well with the theme and I would go from there and now I remember this was uh, please don't judge me <laughs> This was a wine tour where I just found out I was pregnant with my second child. So you'll see in a lot of photos, you don't see me because I'm either taking the photos or I think I'm throwing up in the bathroom. No, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm, I'm either just taking the photos or I'm just enjoying uh, watching my, my girlfriends drink. And to be honest with you, I don't think they knew that I was pregnant. I uh, kept it from them because I think it was very early on in the pregnancy. So uh, I think I told them that I had the stomach flu and did they believe me? Probably not, uh, but they did not mind drinking my share. So one of the things I did with this album was that I made sure I, I kept the sleeves. Yeah, so these were, for, were four by six, I think, or five by four sleeves for photos. And then I just, instead of gluing, gluing them together, you know, I made sure that I left it as a pocket for more photos. And I did that pretty much throughout the album. Oh wait, my bad, I did have a drink, a sip. Or was I pretending? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, please don't judge me. My, my daughter's fine now, I think. <laughs> she's okay, she's okay. <laughs> so this was done a long time ago. As you can see, it's, oh, there we go. There we go. And one of the things I liked to add was chipboard. Now, on top of the chipboard, I, I don't even think they have this anymore, but you can check. I actually used the aged wine embossing enamel from Stampendous, and it just gave it that kind of vintage, uh, vintage vibe. It has a little bit of purple and gold in it, so I found it really added to the project and yeah so I, I i just really enjoyed that and one of the things i like to do especially if there's sparkles on some of the artwork i do i always add acetate so that you know if there's photos on one page the sparkles don't damage the photos that are on this page and so Another thing that I love to do again was on the acetate, on the thicker part of, I even think this is, this is uh, thicker than acetate, but it is a thicker plastic, is I loved using felt. And so I would, um, you know, I like mixing elements, different, different textures of paper. And so here I used felt. And anywhere, I, any chance I got, I, I used chipboard and embossing enamel here. And I kept it simple, really. I used as many stamps as I could that I thought would complement the journal. And obviously I love 
my envelopes. And this is an envelope I didn't make. Again, on my travels, if I find a really neat stationery store and I say, oh wow, like that is a fancy envelope, I'll just buy one. And I think, and because I know at some point I'll use it in my crafting and, and because this had a purple theme, I thought, wow, that's beautiful. So uh, this is just an album with tags and tabs and embossing folders that I used to embellish it, added some uh, like a magnet there so that it just kind of sticks onto, I don't know why the magnet's there, but there must be, there must be a magnet here somewhere for this to kind of adhere to. And then obviously I just added more tags and embellishments here. I love using like, I think this is an old necklace here and really just adding lots of metal elements. And then really making sure that there's always a space and place for anything that you get from your travels. And so of course I added a little pocket sleeve or a little pocket corner here to slip that into. Ah, that's where that's from. So, that's where that goes is a uh, oh why but there must be there must be a another that's supposed to slide into there and that uh, magnet is supposed to kind of hook that onto there so it doesn't fall out so anyways that is my wine journal again keeping it simple only using a few techniques, a few elements, not a lot of mixed media, like really it's just this and then my Copic markers and stamps. So I really hope you enjoyed this flip through. If you're interested in more flip throughs, I'll put a link to the playlist that shows you all of my flip throughs that I've done thus far. So take care, have a fantastic week, and I hope to see you in those other videos. Bye!